G'day folks and welcome to another lot of Cisco questions on the Cisco roller coaster and today will be all about access control list. 269 extended access list use what range for access list numbers? We got 1 to 99, 200 to 299, 100 to 199, 300 to 399. From I guess the general knowledge of Cisco, a stand, standard is 1 to 99 so it's likely obviously be one of these three here and the answer is C, 100 to 199 and this allows you to filter traffic by destination IP address and source IP address and also the source and destination ports. 270, your manager has asked you to block traffic from the system with the IP address of 192.168.5.100. You have configured an access list using the commands shown in the figure below but now no traffic from any system can pass through the interface. Why? The all, all or nothing. Access lists have an implied deny all at the bottom. You need a subnet mask in the access list command. You should have used IP access class instead of IP access group. You should have used a permit instead of a deny. So we're going to get configure terminal, access list one, deny host. Um, so that's access list and then the number of the access list, deny host access to that on the interface that one group in. So pretty much I'll explain how the answer works. So essentially there is an implied deny all at the bottom of each access list. It will only go by what is not expected to be filtered or what's do, what do they not want to be, I guess, accessed and only if specified it'll, um, I guess, it'll allow the traffic to come through if that makes sense. So access list have an implied tonight or the bottom, you need to specify in that access list what needs to be able to access it. In fact, hopefully that one makes sense for you guys. It's sort of a tricky one to explain there. 271, what type of access control list only allows you to filter traffic by the source IP address? We've got extended, standard, basic, and advanced. So if we read before with one of the questions extended was a little bit more than um, I guess just this so this leads us to be standard and that is 1 to 99 based on the access control list. 272 what type of access control list allows you to filter by source and destination IP address and source and destination port and protocol. So you've got advanced basic extended standard. I was just talking about this before in the other question so the answer is C extended. 273, you would like to ensure that only systems on the 216-831164 MAS26 subnet can telnet into your router. What commands would you use? So we've basically got access list, 20 permits, and then the address here, line VTY04. So again, it'll be one of those big ones which you can read through and feel free to pause and um, assess what you will make as your answer, but I'll basically explain the answer. Uh, which is A, uh, use the following access list 20 permits and then the address there, line VTY4, then sort of explain through it. So obviously we've got the, uh, I guess, uh, notation here, access list 20, so that's specifying in the between 1 to 99, so that'll be a pretty basic setup. And then permit, and then you've got the address here, you don't need to include the subnet, uh, I guess the subnet mask there, and then obviously we're in the telnet area. And because it's not a interface, it's sort of a telnet, so it's sort of a port, it's not an interface. So if it was an interface, it'd be access group. In this case, since we're just specifying, I guess, a process or uh, a part of the, uh, the router itself, it is a class as opposed to a group, which would constitute needing to um, be specifying a port. So the answer there is A. 274, you have created a, a standard access list 20 that permits a group of IP addresses. You would like to use this access list to control who can telnet into the router. What command would you use on the telnet ports? So we've got access class 20 in, access group 20 in, allow 20 in, allow telnet 20 in. So I just was mentioning before about, uh, I guess, interfaces needing or being assigned to groups when specifying, I guess, any type of class here. Uh, we've got Group of IP addresses, access controllers, telnet. So it's again, it's referencing sort of a, a component of uh, the router, not an actual interface. So that would make it be A, the answer. Access class 20 in, and got obviously the right notation there, and then obviously the class list and in. 
Got a big one here, 275. What is the result of the access list in the figure below? And we've got a whole bunch of answers here, which are pretty long and comprehensive. So what I'll do, I'll just read over it, and reading over it will give you the answer. So we've got a specified access list here of 100. So that will be an extended, uh, I guess, classification there. And then deny IP host, so this will stop I guess systems on this area or well, this uh, subnet here so we've got access list 100 so that's an extended class there uh, deny this computer or this system here access to this network here and also further to that rule there it is denying that system there Ability to get onto this website here is port 80. So it's a website uh, Permit and then allow all other traffic. So if you decode what I've just said there it matches up with a it denies the That system there from accessing that network got the subnet there as well specifying that network notated there it's a system and the system of this one here from accessing the website here, which is the host being a website is port 80 there and permits all others permit IP um, any any so that means any others besides that address there so the answer is a and I hope that made sense to you guys uh, it was pretty well laid out sort of reading between the lines and reading from what it said so again that's all folks thanks very much for joining in uh, on another Cisco roller coaster journey and we've got my website there online computercoaching.com feel free to check that out as well Got all my socials in the, uh, the the description as well. Subscribe away, like the video. That'd be amazing, guys. I really appreciate your support and appreciate every each and every one of you that watches on and subscribes away. It, it means so much to me, and it, it's great to have so much support. So keep it coming, guys. I really appreciate it um, to the end of the earth. <laughs> keep it up. It'd be really great. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you all next time.